Hey, what's up, you guys? Putting a hitch on your Nissan Altima can take you to some really cool places like camping, kayaking, trail bike riding. You can even tow a U-Haul trailer to just about anywhere in North America. Come on, let's go ahead and get this vehicle prepped up for the hitch install. You will need the tool seam here to complete this installation. Okay, to get started, let's go ahead and clean out the trunk. Doing that, we're just gonna lift up the flooring here and expose the spare tire. We're gonna remove the spare tire by unscrewing the center support. Okay, we'll set that aside. Now we're just gonna take the spare tire and lift it right out of the vehicle and set it to the side of the vehicle here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and point out the attachment point while we're uh, in the trunk area. So the hitch attachment point will be this plug right here. This is a flood plug. I'm gonna go ahead and just remove it now. You can see, it goes, you can see right down to the bottom of the, the vehicle here, to the ground. And now let's go ahead and get the vehicle back up on our ramps so that we can see our frame attachment points. Okay, now that we have the vehicle up on the ramps, we're gonna go ahead and take the exhaust, lower it down a little bit so we have access to the frame up here and room to work. To get the exhaust lowered, um, we're gonna start by removing the exhaust hanger bracket by removing three 12 millimeter bolts here, or nuts, using a 12 millimeter socket and ratchet. You can see they come off fairly easy. Okay, we have one more bracket towards the front of the vehicle. Go ahead and we'll just follow the tailpipe up to the front here. And here's our second bracket that we're gonna remove. Before I remove this bracket, I'm gonna support the exhaust with the strap. That way uh, it doesn't damage the exhaust when it comes down or it hit you in the head. Okay, we got our strap there to catch the exhaust as it comes down. Now we can go ahead and take our 12 millimeter socket and remove our second bracket here. And now we'll back up to the very rear bracket. You can st still see that it's hanging on by the bolts there, so we're just gonna slide it right out and let the exhaust come down. Now we have all the room we need here to work. Okay, our next step is going to be to fish wire our carriage bolts through um, the access hole we're gonna make here into the attachment point hole here already provided with the vehicle frame. So we'll go ahead and widen out this these two holes so that we can get our hardware inside the frame. I'll be using an air saw for this. driver's side. Okay, now we'll test our hardware to make sure it fits into the frame before we fish wire it. We have a carriage bolt, 7 16 carriage bolt and carriage bolt plate. We can see that the plate goes in just fine and the head doesn't go in quite yet. So we're gonna go ahead and trim that out just a little bit more so that we can fit the head through as we're fishing it through. You can see our head, the head of the carriage bolt goes right in and out of the frame there. I'm going to go ahead and widen out the other side as well. Oh. 
Okay, now we can take the provided fish wire. We're gonna take the threaded end. We're gonna push it through our attachment point here and come out the access hole that we just made. Just like that. And we will take our 7 16 carriage bolt and plate and we'll thread it on the fish wire. We're going to separate the two off the wire and we'll push the carriage plate in first. Then we'll push the bolt in. Now we can just pull straight down. You can see our bolt comes right through the attachment point hole there. We'll go ahead and do the same thing on the passenger side. Just pull straight down and it'll come right through the attachment hole. Okay, now we can take our hitch and put it in place. I am using a U-Haul exclusive hitch jack. If you don't have one of these, you will need to get help from a family member or neighbor. Okay, you can see as we're raising the hitch up, we're running into the lower fascia here. Um, two attachment points, so we're going to have to take these plastic fasteners out and then pull the fascia back, push the hitch up in place. Get these plastic fasteners out, we just need a flathead screwdriver and it's going to fit right into these little slots. I'm just going to work it back and forth until it pops out. These are two-piece fasteners, so the center will come out first and then the base will come right after the center piece. So we want to pry away the center piece as much as we can from the base. And that'll relieve the pressure on the inside and allow you to pull straight down. Do the same thing over here. Just be a little patient with these guys. They get a lot of dirt in them, so. Work it back and forth. Spin it around, try to get both sides. Go straight down, there you go. Okay, now we can get the hitch up in. Then we're just gonna pull back on the fascia and raise up. See as I go up, the hole starts to line up. The attachment hole on the hitch starts to line up with the bolt that we fished through the frame there. And as I get one side set, I'm gonna go ahead and put the provided nut on there just to hold it in place. Now that we have the hitch in place and secured, we don't need the hitch jack anymore. We can remove that. Okay, now that we have the hitch secured, we're gonna go ahead and put the center strap down to the trunk pan. Um, you can see that it has square holes here and on the hitch plate as well. And that's to match up with the carriage bolts that will be dropping down attach the bar to the hitch itself so just like that you can see that it seats in there so this bar is going to sit right on top of the hitch plate we're going to line up the holes and try to get our bolt fed down there seat it in go ahead and put a nut on it hold it into place 
Okay, now we can get our second one in there. This one's gonna be a little bit tough. There's not a whole lot of room. So we'll try to work the hitch around as much as we can. Looks like all I needed to do was just pull down on this bar a little bit and it seats right into place. Go ahead and put the divided nut on there. Okay, we've got that guy snug. Now we'll go ahead and go into the trunk area and I'm going to drop the provided uh, spacer and half inch carriage bolt through this attachment hole. Once we get that guy down, I'll come back up to this attachment hole here. I'll drill a hole right through into the trunk pan and then we'll go back into the trunk pan, drop our carriage bolt and carriage plate through and then finish tightening it up and torquing it down. So let's go ahead and get into the trunk area. Okay, we're in the trunk area now. We're gonna go ahead and put the round spacer and the carriage bolt through the spacer, just like that. We'll drop it into our plug area that we removed down to the hitch arm attachment point. Before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and put some silicone around so that it creates a, a tight seal there. And we can just go ahead and put a single bead right around as we tighten it down and it'll spread across there. So. Okay, now we're back underneath the vehicle. You can see that the bolt has come through. We're just gonna lift up on the arm here. Put our nut on. Okay, that's secured there. Now our last step is to come up to the rear attachment point in the trunk pan. We're gonna drill a half inch hole here and repeat the same process as putting this bolt down. We're gonna put a spacer plate up in the trunk area, put some silicone on it, drop it through and tighten it down, then we'll torque everything down. Okay, now we can go ahead and put our spacer plate and bolt through the trunk pan there and the inside of the vehicle. Okay, we're back in the trunk pan area. Uh, we've got our last hole drilled. We're gonna go ahead and take the provided spacer plate and carriage bolt, put it through the hole here. Um, I did put some silicone around the edge just to make sure we get a nice tight seal here. I wanna make sure that the head of the carriage bolt is seated into the carriage plate. And the last step is to put the nut on there and we'll go ahead and torque them all down. Okay. So we have all the, all the fasteners in place, hitches in place. We're gonna go ahead and torque the bolts down. Um, we do have two size bolts. We have 7 16 which are attached to the frame. And then we have half inch bolts, which are attached to the receiver tube and arm going to the trunk pan. So we'll go ahead and start by torquing the half inch bolts. The manufacturer uh, calls out 110 foot pounds for torque. So we've got our torque wrench set to that. You should hear a click or a beep on your torque wrench when you're torquing down, just like that. When you hear that click, you don't need to tighten down anymore. It's torqued to its specifics. Okay, we have our half inch bolts torqued and we'll go ahead and do our 7 16 I'll be using a five inch extension with a 11 16 socket. And the manufacturer calls out that the 7 16 bolts be torqued down to 70 foot pounds. We went ahead and set our torque wrench to that. We'll go ahead and tighten it down now. Passenger side here. Okay. 
Okay, the hitch is tightened down, torque to spec. We'll go ahead and raise the exhaust back into place. And that's it for our hitch install. All right, I got these guys started. I'll go ahead and get the furthest attachment point started as well. And I got the exhaust supported. Get the strap out of my way. up here and get the most rear attachment bracket to pull the exhaust tightened up. Still using a 12 millimeter socket. Okay and our hitch is complete. We have a inch and a quarter receiver tube. This hitch is going to be rated for 2,000 pounds trailer weight, 200 pounds tongue weight. We've got our two safety chain loops right here, where when you're towing a trailer, you'll put your safety chains from the trailer through the loops, attach them here. And that'll be it for our hitch video. Thank you for watching, have fun and be safe. Thanks for watching. To learn more about the products seen in this video, or to schedule an installation by U-Haul Hitch Professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.